Today we're talking about the differences between the one wheel pint and the one wheel XR. Singing to my right is... Joey Sonnenfeld. I'm Scott Mendenhall and to my left is... I'm Lily Wiener. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're brand new around here, we put out content weekly about the one wheel and today we want to share the differences between those two one wheels. Maybe you're in the market, you're trying to get one and you need information on how to decide which one's best for you. We're gonna give the breakdown of our numbers like height, weight, and shoe size so when we talk about it, you can put it inside context. We're gonna start with Joey. What's your height? I am 6'3", 200 pounds. Foot size. Foot size 13, so pretty large. Wow, that's like double everything. I am <laughs> six foot even. I weigh between 150 and 160, depending if you look at my license or not. <laughs> And uh, my shoe size is a nine and a half. Well, I thought you were a ten. Depends what size shoe I'm I wear. I'm learning a lot of things about you. I am Lily Wiener. I don't think we introduced ourselves. I am 5'3". I weigh around 144 pounds. Lots of muscle. Ripped. <laughs> and And um, I have a six and a half, seven shoe in waffle size. So the XR, obviously, one of the biggest things that is different between the XR and the Pint is the range. The yes. range is what, Lily, on an XR? 17 miles. 17 to 20 miles, depending on your weight. If you're picking between the Pint and the XR, I mean, of your size and stature, what would you pick and why? I would definitely pick the XR just because I weigh more, and so the Pint would run out of battery a lot quicker than the XR. Uh, and then also the foot pads are a little larger and I have size 13 feet and so it just it just fits me better. Uh, turning and everything is just more comfortable uh, to ride the XR than it is to ride the Pike. Now when he talks about that turnability, I call it carbability. One of the things I love about the Pike is that the wheel is more rounded at the bottom so you can really carve. If that's a thing you love to do is you just love to carve and, and you want the Pike. Uh, even even Joey's size, yes, his feet does hang over, but it, it, some people will say it's squirrely and things. It's just it can carve. You can just like butter. It's so smooth. Um, it, it handles terrain well. It handles all the things the XR handles. The biggest difference, honestly, is the rounded tire and the range. I, I think the range on a pint is somewhere between uh, nine miles. I, I've gotten 14 miles out of it, but I'm 150 pounds. Um, and so just take that into consideration when Joey rides it, he's not getting close to 10, pound, or 10 miles out of it. Lily, if you're picking a one wheel, what would you choose? I would choose, oh, it's so hard because I have so much fun on both, but I would choose the XR because of the stability in it. Like I like doing terrain and off-roading and like feeling comfortable on those specific grounds and I feel more comfortable on an XR than I do a pint. However, when I want to play around and I want to carve and I want to be a little more dangerous, I choose a pint. <laughs> so it's hard to it's hard to say. I just want both for which I'm feeling for this. At the end of the day, you do probably need both yeah. because the, the riding on both of them are very unique to each one. Yeah. Uh, we don't have enough XRs around here to do our races where we all get an XR. It's, it's almost kind of like a, like a long board versus a regular skateboard. Yeah, that's a fair way to put it. Like you can do a lot more like tricks and carving, moving around side to side, and then long board more just, just, just cruising. Just cruising. cruising. Yeah. yeah, that's a fair way to put it. I do think the biggest selling point on the XR is that range. To go almost 20 miles is is big difference than your 10. You're getting double the range, though you can charge your pint. Uh, just as well as the XR, you just are going further, which is so nice. I do think if you're a brand new, let's answer this question, if you're a brand new to one wheel or you're thinking about buying a one wheel and you're a beginner, do you think uh, things like the Pint offers something called Simple Stop, which makes it easier to stop where you begin to go backwards and it just shuts off and nicely and you can dismount? Uh, those are great features on the Pint. What one would you suggest for a beginner? Would you still stick with what you're saying? Personally, for me, I would, yeah, I would say the XR still just because of the stability of the wheel. It's just a little bigger and it's not as rounded, uh, like Scott was saying earlier. And I just feel like that's just stabilizes you a little bit. And so if you're a, a newbie, uh, I think it's uh, just a lot easier and a lot more stable than the pint. Um, but Scott did have a good point about the, the, the simple, uh, stop. simple stop. That's why I think the pint is a great option because 
it's cheaper, it's easier to carry, and it's great for a commute because it's not long distances. And the simple stop and things like the mag handle, which is already installed when you buy it, it's just more easy as an intro to riding a one wheel. And I think if you ended up really loving your one wheel, you're already well versed on a pine, which is kind of squirrely or carvable at, at first, but if that's all you know, then imagine what a ride on an XR would be like after riding a pint for so long. It opens up a whole new box, then you end up buying an XR and you're just a one wheel fan for life. Yeah, and I do think, again, to Lily's point, that handle, um, the mag handle is so awesome on the pint, comes with it. You can buy it for the XR, and it's probably one of those things that if you're buying an XR, you better just throw it in your cart because that handle is awesome. It gets out of the way. I know other companies make handles and they attach the rails and stuff, and it, I just, I like that handle that it tucks inside the hub of the wheel. And so put that in your cart. If I'm choosing, honestly, I'm going the pint. I love the way it rides, I love the size of it, and the range for me isn't a big deal. Typically, I'm only going 10 miles away from my house anyways, and I can charge it right away. And I, I love the ability to put it underneath the table at lunch or dinner. Uh, if I'm on the subway or on the bus, it can go right underneath my seat. Those are the nice features of the Pint, whereas the XR, and I have both. The XR is a little bit robust, and it doesn't, you can't hide it as well. It's heavier. Sure. I believe the weight of the XR is 27, 27 pounds. pounds. And I think the Heavy. weight of the pint is 24 pounds, somewhere around there, give or take a pound. So there is a little bit of weight difference. A little bit, but I do think the weight difference feels different. Yes. When you're actually carrying. She's had to carry. You've had to carry both. Yeah, she's she's run on a battery and had to walk it before. And now if you're buying for, uh, uh, let's go, okay, so we just covered adults buying. What would you suggest if parents are buying one wheels for their kids? What what one would you point them to? For sure, a pint. pint. For, for sure. sure, pint. Oh, I I think so. Yeah. I mean, you've got he's got pints for his kids, and they are doing awesome on yeah. them from age twelve to age four, and they're they phenomenal. Shred. Yeah. They're shredding. It's like you're just raising them up, just raising them up right. If you're on the fence, get it. That's the difference. Hopefully, we helped you in understanding some of the new things. Now, we do a lot of fun things on our own wheels. We're going to link right here some of our favorite races. We so have fun. a race series going on right yes. now. The winner of the race series is going to win a pint, and they will get it Ooh. on on Good Friday. That's when the race will drop on Good Friday, so don't miss that. Subscribe to our channel. As always on Wednesday, we put out One Wheel Wednesday content. And this one we're just putting out as a bonus. So thanks for watching. Enjoy. Have a great day. Make sure you wash your hands. And we'll see you next week on Wednesday. Bye.